Hi everyone, I'm Jess Prophet and I'm a Tupperware manager in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne, Australia. And today I'm going to do a quick video about the micro pressure cooker, aka the MPC. So I've got a question for you. Do you want to be able to make healthy meals quickly with very little effort? If your answer is yes, then continue watching this video because the MPC is the product for you. The micro pressure cooker is a covered container that builds up pressure during cooking in the microwave and allows the temperatures to go up to 100 degrees Celsius. Um, the higher pressures that are reached during the cooking time in this product results in better food quality and also taste and just even just time. It, it um, makes it the time really quick with cooking. Um, and so um, it, the flavors and everything they're retained um, compared to zapping the food in the microwave by some other means. One of my favorite, favorite things about this product is you can set and forget. So set and forget means you pop it in the microwave, you set the time and you can forget. You don't have to worry about burning your food which is something that I'm pretty notorious for doing because I get distracted very easily. So if you're someone like me that, um, you know, gets distracted easily, then perhaps this would be a helpful tool for you. Set and forget will be a dream. I'm going to walk you through some of the features of the pressure cooker. So starting with the base. So the base has an overall capacity of three liters. Um, however, the maximum fill line, which is actually um, etched inside is for two liters um, and that's to allow room for the pressure to build up and um, a bit of bubbling and steaming to happen safely. Um, so the other thing is is that on the bottom there's actually some, I'm not sure if you can see that, some pictograms on the bottom which help um, guide you, um, you know it says that it's it's okay for the oven but not to go on the grill, it's okay for the dishwasher um, you know, and so it's got some, got some, it's got some um, pictograms on the bottom, which is super helpful. Um, then with the lid, we've got a bayonet um, uh, featured lid, which twists close. We've also got the um, lock handle here, which prevents the um, cover to open whilst it's under under pressure. Um, so there's a few different safety features, which is great because everyone's got a horror story with a pressure cooker. I'm sure, well, everyone's heard of one, right, of a pressure cooker exploding. So um, Tupperware has um, definitely thought through um, the safety features on this and, um, and, you know, ensured that it is safe to use in your home and in your microwave. Um, so the lock um, also... Um, if the lock is not on, it avoids the pressure buildup um, because it, it's allowing air to escape. So, um, so even if we accidentally don't use it properly, um, it's still got our back. It's still going to make sure that things will be fine. Also on the top of the cover, there is the pressure regulator valve, which um, regulates the working pressure. So um, it can it's just another safety feature really but it just sort of pops up a little bit and if it gets under too much pressure um, some pressure can escape from there um, to ensure there'll be no no disasters the other thing is this little yellow thing here is the pressure indicator valve and that functions as a safety valve um, when it's in normal use um, when the pressure exceeds a particular level, this valve also um, releases excess pressure. This is the valve that I also um, can tell if the pressure cooker is ready to be opened yet. So if it's in that up position, then it's, ready, it's um, under pressure. If it's dropped down and sort of easy to move, then that means the pressure cooker is not under pressure anymore. Also in the lid, there is the silicon cover gasket which can come out and be easily removed for cleaning purposes. But this is just another one of the other safety features um, with building up pressure in the pressure cooker. Um, I'm sure there's a very um, fantastic scientific reason why it's there, but all we need to know is it can be removed and easily inserted back in for easy cleaning. 
The pressure cooker is fridge safe, so you can prepare a meal in here, but before you cook it, pop it in the fridge so that when you come home, all you have to do is pop it straight into the microwave and you're good to go. Or perhaps you're too tired one evening and, you're t um, and you can't be bothered doing anything with the leftovers, that's tomorrow's problem. You can pop it into the fridge so your leftovers are all good and deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> um, but it can't go in the freezer. Uh, it is fine to go in the dishwasher, um, all, the, all the parts, the, the, the cover and the base, they're fine to go into the dishwasher. My suggestion though is before you use it, just check over the different parts, make sure there's no um, food bits there because you wouldn't want anything to interfere with the um, pressurization process. Um, so yeah, just give it a check over before you use it, everything should be fine, but just for safety precautions it's good to have a check. The other thing is, is that you can um, serve straight out of this on the table. So you can just take this from the microwave, take it to the table, dinner's ready guys, and just serve up straight out of the pressure cooker, super easy, no need to make more dishes than you have to. Um, the other awesome thing is, is because of this lock, um, the, the lid locks, you can actually prepare a meal or a dessert in here and take it with you to a friend's house and pop it straight into the microwave to cook it fresh when you're there. So you've, you've prepared the, the meal, maybe popped it in the fridge until you're good to go. Take it to your friend's house, they've got a microwave, heat up the um, dinner or the dessert and, uh, and you're good to go with your meal and, and they can taste a nice fresh not reheated meal, a nice fresh meal cooked straight from the pressure cooker. So um, that's awesome for on the go kind of things. I've done that a few times with sticky date pudding in here. I've prepared it in here and done the cooking process when I get to the venue and, uh, and people are always amazed with how awesome the dessert is um, made in here. So the pressure cooker cooks um, fresh or frozen fruits, vegetables, meats and fish and uh, the sky's the limit. If you find any um, recipes that um, are within that two liter capacity, um, doesn't have to be a Tupperware recipe, any pressure cooker recipes, any microwave recipes, um, you can make them in here and uh, go nuts. Just make sure that the um, water quantity meets the minimum fill line which is inside and doesn't exceed the maximum fill line and you can just make some amazing meals from here. I even buy those frozen meals sometimes from the supermarket, the pre-made frozen meals, and tip them into here, like maybe um, a chicken curry or something like that, and tip it into here for the heating up process. It's a safer and tastier way to reheat that meal rather than um, reheating it in the packaging that it came from. Depending on your recipe you choose to use, you can um, serve up to four to eight um, portions out of this. Um, again, it depends on what you're making. Um, when I make my sticky date pudding in here, I can serve up to about 12 people. Uh, so it's it looks small, but it's deceptively small. Like it's actually quite a, a, um, a decently sized um, cooking container. The pressure cooker has been designed to have a resistance to staining. It's also super easy to clean with a non-stick smooth surface. Um, I would be cautious with any sharp like knives or metal utensils and um, opt to use um, plastic utensils, preferably Tupperware utensils when um, mixing and serving out from here. Um, and it is safe, it's all completely safe to go in the dishwasher, um, which is awesome as well. There is a ratio to bear in mind um, when you're cooking in the pressure cooker. Most recipes will already follow this guideline, so this is more of a, a hint for those that are getting creative and branching out with their own recipes. But basically, per 10 minutes of cooking time, you need to make sure there's 150 mils of um, water in there to build up that steam, that pressure. Um, in the um, uh, micro pressure cooker, um, product guide and the recipe book that you'll get with it, it'll all have that information there for you anyway. So you've cooked your meal in here and you're just waiting for it to depressurize. Um, that's what we call our standing time. So some recipes count on this to finish the cooking of the meal. It usually takes about five minutes on average. 
to de depressurize. Um, but if you're um, super excited to get to your meal, like I am sometimes, you can just pop up that handle carefully, maybe with a um, tea towel, to make sure you don't burn yourself and release the steam that way. Um, but most of the recipes will guide you with that. When you, when you unlock the pressure cooker and you go to open it, make sure you lift the lid away from you so that the steam doesn't go into your face. Take this as a tip from me, I may have done that by accident. <laughs> if you encounter it to be too difficult to lift the lid off when you have unlocked it and twisted it around, this could mean that it's still under too much pressure for you to open and so I'd suggest just leave it for a few minutes and come back and you should be able to lift the lid off fine. When storing the pressure cooker, I suggest taking the lid off it and actually sitting the base inside the lid because then you can store other things in your cupboard inside the pressure cooker base and you're um, reducing um, space that's being used in your cupboards. You're, you're utilizing the space well by putting other things inside. Plus, you're making sure that it's getting a good airflow going through the pressure cooker and that way you're not um, keeping airtight, stale air, um, but you're, you're letting it air out nicely. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video of the micro pressure cooker. Um, thank you so much for your time watching my video and I hope it's been helpful for you.